What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. The top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today is Friday, February 9th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. A new cinematic trailer has dropped with a crossover event happening between Fortnite and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In the trailer, we see Leo, Mike, Wrath, and Donnie kicking butt. The enemies seem to be a mix of the bots you see on Fortnite with the Foot Clan. We see each with a signature move, and then at the end, the Shredder pops out. Let me know if you're excited about this crossover in the comments down below. Moon Studios, the developers from Ori have been working on a new game called No Rest for the Wicked. Today we got the news that the game would be delayed. The game was supposed to be released within the next two months, but it got pushed back. It got pushed back to sometime between April and May of this year. They stated this, it did get pushed back a quarter, and as always, we will move something if we feel like we just want to give it a little bit more polish so it can be the best game it can be and be even more amazing experience for customers. In 2021, Ubisoft has announced a new story of development team within the company called Assassin's Creed Infinite. This team will be the developers of future projects. Two years ago, they announced Codename Red would be the first game coming out from Infinity. Today, we got confirmation that Codename Red is set in Japan and will be released within a year. Many people have been asking for an Assassin's Creed in Japan, and it looks like this year will be the year that they get it. On February 27th, we will be getting a new character to the already growing roster of Street Fighter VI. Ed is making his comeback, and the Dante lookalike seems to be bringing some heat. Capcom released a new trailer today showing off his fighting style and all the crazy things he will be bringing to the table. Let me know if you are excited about Ed or if we will be skipping this character entirely. The Federal Trade Commission is not happy with the Xbox at the moment. They are looking to see why there have been so many layoffs, 1,900 to be exact, after Xbox bought Activision Blizzard and Bethesda. They have filed a complaint against Xbox and want to know what's going on and now want some answers. Xbox's down spiral just continues. Could this be the reason for all the rumors going on? Did Xbox know this was coming and needed an exit plan out? We'll just have to wait and see next week to see what happens. Taco has a great article about all the Xbox games rumored to be coming to PlayStation and Switch. With all the craziness the company has been going through, it seems that they have either been planning this for a while or it's a desperate move to stay afloat. The games rumored are Hi-Fi Rush, Sea of Thieves, Starfield, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, Gears of War, Hellblade 2, Halo, and Penament. Let's see if any of those games will be coming to PlayStation or Switch anytime soon. According to Games Radar, Pocket Pair, the developers of the most successful game of the year, Power World, is struggling to keep up with such a high demand of players in their servers. Not only is maintaining their servers time consuming, it's also very expensive at around $480,000 a month. With all the positive vibes the company has received, they are looking to expand and are hiring to help keep up with the game as much as possible. In a Japanese article, they stated this, We still have a lot to do, but we are overwhelmingly short on people to join us. We are looking for people for all positions, but we are especially looking for planning and engineers. We are looking for people with experience at any type of engine. So if you are interested in creating a completely new type of game, please apply. Let's see how many people come to the rescue of Pocket Pair after they have given the world such an amazing game. And lastly, AI has been the craze the last two years and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. A famous YouTuber by the name Moore's Law is Dead has been doing a lot of leaks from all the madness of Xbox and Sony. The biggest thing that the channel covered was talking about AI and how it's going to be integrated into the next generation systems, like the PlayStation 6 or whatever Microsoft cook up next. The way they see enhancements from AI is by AI controlling NPCs and actively updating their behavior. Smarter NPCs can make games even harder or easier depending on how they use it. We'll just have to wait and see what AI will be bringing to the gaming industry. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.